Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy Gideon, aka G Dub, welcoming you back to Wrestling Showdown Entertainment. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is our first pay per view event. We are in Roadblock, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm excited to get started, so let's get started. And if you are pumped up, if you're ready, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below because your opinion matters and how everything is run. And when you subscribe, you become a part of the G-Dub Nation, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm extremely excited because we're finally at a pay-per-view event and I've been waiting for this for such a long time now. So I am pumped up beyond all beliefs that we're finally going to be able to have this pay-per-view event going on. And also to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, I will be able to record uh, when I go to Orlando, Florida, but it probably won't be long recordings. It might end up just being Gang Beast mainly, but I will be trying to do a little bit of recording. I might try to actually do some, uh, some, of, my, uh, some of the wrestling show to entertainment. But let me know if you're hype for this and what you're expecting to happen. Do you think we're going to get some new tag team, some new uh, champions, or do you think everyone's going to retain? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I am ready to go. I am ready for this. I am pumped. Just woo, let's go. And we are in the beautiful town, the beautiful city of Newark, New Jersey. New Jersey. If I made fun of your accent, I'm very sorry. You can make fun of my Texas accent all you want. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen, to show you what we got going on tonight. We have a rivalry match, and it is Tyson Phoenix and Red Avenger starting it all off in a normal match. Then, our Galaxy Champion, Christopher Bailey, is calling out someone in the middle of a pay-per-view. This should be interesting. And like I said, on Friday Night Frenzy, ladies and gentlemen, an Iron Man match will happen between Mark Bailey and Flying X. So that should be very interesting. We also have our technical championship belt on the line, and it's Neil Braxton going up against the technical champion, Cedric Hawkins, in a tables match. And Hawkins chose the stipulation since he won his match on Friday Night Frenzy a little before Braxton did. So with that, so just to let you know about that, and if you haven't seen any of the past episodes, go back and watch, because you're missing out on a lot. Then we have our rivalry tag team match. It is the tag team champions, the Dukes of Wrestling, Ryan Adams and Country Life Kip Elmore going up against the upper class, Florentino Rubio and the French Paradox, Scotty Pfeiffer. Then, this is breaking news. Instead of it being Big Joe Jackson going up against the Panther for the Showdown Championship. We're making it a fatal four-way. And it's going to be Big Joe Jackson versus Joseph Sage versus the Panther versus Eddie Bain. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited to see what happens. And then finally, our main event match is for the Heavyweight Championship. And it is Ben Straight holding the title, going up against the number one power ranking champion, a local gladiator, and a no holds barred match. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now I'm really excited, like I said, this first pay-per-view. Not sure how long it's gonna take on everything, but leave a like, a comment, your opinion matters. Subscribe, be a part of the G-Dub Nation. And also, like I say in every comment, like I say in every uh, match, comment down below. Who do you think is going to win and who's your favorite? Because this rivalry has gotten out of control and I'm ready to see who's going to win this, ladies and gentlemen. And both competitors have a very very nice shot at winning this uh, winning this opportunity and I've been word that whoever wins this match will also get a chance at the technical championship title 
So, for example, if Tyson Phoenix wins, he'll go against either Neil Braxton or Cedric Hawkins whenever he wants before the next pay-per-view pops up. If Red Avenger wins, pretty much same thing. But both contenders have a beautiful shot of winning this match, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm excited to see what will end up happening. But without further ado, let's begin. Oh, I was a little early, but hey, that's usually how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Without further ado, let's begin. And we have a sold out arena here, ladies and gentlemen. It is amazing to see how many people have come out to watch Wrestling Showdown Entertainment. To be honest, I was not expecting this many people, but man, they are ready to go. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring. The Phoenix Unleashed, Tyson Phoenix. And he is pumped and ready to go and ready to prove that he is better than Red Avenger, like he's been trying to do all along this entire time. Phoenix is so full of himself. And also, because of the open challenge he had with Red Avenger on the first, like the first week they fought each other, it just got it all started up. And Red Avenger was able to pull off the win against Phoenix and that ticked Phoenix off. So Phoenix wanted to challenge Avenger. Wanted to make it a competition, see who was better. And this might prove it, ladies and gentlemen. This might prove it once and for all. So here we go. Phoenix looks determined and ready to win the first pay-per-view match against his rival, the Red Avenger. And here we go, his opponent making his way to the ring, Red Avenger. This is a fan favorite, now he's a fan favorite wrestler, ladies and gentlemen. As you can hear, the crowd cheer for him. They are excited to see him, and he's excited to compete once again for the beautiful Wrestling Showdown Entertainment. Both contenders look like they are ready for this match. No matter what happens, this will be an amazing match, ladies and gentlemen. I'm calling it right now. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Tyson Phoenix versus the Red Avenger in three, two, one. And Avenger off to a nice start getting a hold of Phoenix right off the bat. Here we go once again, using a quick snap suplex right onto Phoenix. And also, breaking news, uh, Javier Rodriguez and Otis Love were both supposed to compete tonight, but due to Otis Love's injuries, the doctors have decided that he will not be competing uh, tonight. That way he can have the next couple of days to heal up before uh, Friday Night Frenzy because he's got one more week uh, before they say he's fully healed and ready to go. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Avenger taking a nice early lead on, but Phoenix might be changing this real soon. Never mind. Here's the early pin. One. Just a one count. That was about it. Now just kicking the back of Phoenix, and Phoenix didn't like that, he's back up and ready to go. Now, Irish whipping Phoenix into the other turnbuckle and with a nice knee, picking him back up. Here's the pin, but that's a rope break right there, ladies and gentlemen. Avenger is pumped up and ready.
Go now, throwing Phoenix. My goodness. Beautiful maneuver by Fe Avenger. What does he got in mind now? Oh, a beautiful kick to the head. Here we go. Looks like Avenger's ready to end this. Beautiful move. Here's the pin. One, two, three. And ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the Red Avenger, being able to defeat, defeat Tyson Phoenix once again. Avenger is so excited about his win here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Phoenix is shocked in what just happened here. Avengers telling Phoenix to come on, bring it. They're ready for another fight right here, right now. Phoenix better just walk away. He doesn't stand a chance right now, ladies and gentlemen. This was a three-star match, ladies and gentlemen. Like, and let's see, we got a minus two in his egotistical, a plus five in his respectful, and a plus two in his bold. While Red Avenger got a minus two in his prideful and a plus two in his bold. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a good match by both contenders. But let's get moving on. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Christopher Bailey is wanting to call someone out, but who is it he's going to call out? Is it going to be his tag team partner, Buddy Peace? Is it maybe going to be a member of uh, VIW or the Templar League? I don't know. We're going to just have to wait and see, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited to see who he's going to call out. Because he'll give uh, Monday Night Mania a few rivalries. Because as of right now, Monday Mo Night Mania only has one rivalry. And one potential rivalry. And I actually haven't told you about that one. Because that one popped up on Wednesday Night Clash, ladies and gentlemen. And it is the King, Jason King, and Kenji Tawazaki. And their rivalry is growing. But let me know down below in the comments. Would you want to see... The King, Jason King, going up against the small twig, Kenji Tawazaki. Let me know down in the comments. If you like the idea, we will put that as a rivalry and see how it goes. But if you don't like the idea, don't worry about it. We'll just let the computer automate, not automate, uh, automatically put things in or take things out. We'll just see how it goes. But I am curious who Bailey's going to call out here, ladies and gentlemen. Is he maybe going to call out Rex Page, the Dark Lord? We haven't got to see him that much lately. We've seen him in a couple Battle Royals, but that's about it. So maybe it's about time someone else gets the spotlight. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm very curious who Christopher Bailey's going to call out. But without further ado, let's see who Christopher Bailey is going to call out. Here he comes to the ring, ladies and gentlemen. This has gone on long enough. You've all been talking about it on social media. Everyone's asking me about it in the locker room. Even the staff at the hotel asked me. Everyone here knows why I came out tonight. And it's time for me to say it out loud. Someone in the back's been talking a lot of smack about how we'd stack up. There's no way in hell that a day player like that could ever beat me. He doesn't have a tenth of the talent I have, or the brains. But if he wants to try and take me on, he knows where to find me. Who's he calling out? I'm curious. 
how does this sound, WWE Universe? Me and Hans Coronado, right here, live in front of all of you tonight. Does that not sound like a good time? Does that not sound like something you want to see? Hans Coronado, the German dancer, is who he's wanting to challenge. That's who he's calling out. All right, well, here comes Hans Coronado now. Bailey's happy to see him coming out here now. You're out here talking your nonsense, and I'm sitting back there thinking to myself, why am I sitting through this drive? I'm sure everyone else is thinking about the same thing, but me, I'm one of the few people willing to do something about it. Hey everybody, look who's decided to grace us with his presence. This guy. Let's all give it up for the high and mighty one. He's clearly here to say something important. There's no way this isn't going to be a complete waste of everyone's time. Let's hear it then. I'm all ears. I'm not interested in your opinion. When I want your opinion, listen. I'm not going to want your opinion. All I'm interested in is showing these people who the best is. And I'm going to do that right now. Alright. The city brings the best out of people. Look at you. You actually got the grapefruits to be out here right now. Look, I applaud you. Really, give it up for him. WSC Universe. He's making things fun. Ain't he? Hmm. Bailey, what are you doing? I can tell by the way you're mouthing off that you really don't do underestimate me. The facts are this. When it comes to the WSC, nobody, and I mean nobody, can match my talent. When I step inside the ring, I have my opponents in the palm of my hands from the second the bell rings. I just wanted to warn you now because I'm challenging you to a championship title match next week on Monday Night Mania. The WSC Universe knows I'm never going to back down from a fight. I'll fight anyone, anywhere, at any time, and that includes you. Listen to this crowd. They want to see me kick your ass right now. Judging by the stupid look on your face, I get the feeling you're a bit surprised to sell, still see me out right here right now. I'm sure you, you're used to everyone just standing idly by while you babble on and on, who knows what, but that stops now. Hmm. I'm more surprised that you were able to get through that entire speech without collapsing under the weight of your own idiocy. idiocy. Yeah, see, I don't know. I'm even more surprised you were able to get dressed all by yourself. You're getting to be such a big boy. <laughs> I guess we're at crossroads here. Two men, only one can emerge victorious. Well, I'm ready whenever you are, so the ball is in your court. Name the place and I'm there. Name the type of match I'll play. The, blood, the bottom line is, I'm ready to fight whenever you are. Just let me know. Winner of that was Hans Coronado, ladies and gentlemen, winning by over a hundred right there. My goodness. Wow. <laughs> wow. So Bailey's wanting to challenge Coronado, the German dancer. Hmm. Interesting. All right, but ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our Iron Man match: Mark Bailey versus the Flying X. And ladies and gentlemen, this will be the end for part one of our Roadblock series. And after this, we will have part two, and hopefully see if we can finish up everything in part two.
but let me know down in the comments who do you think is going to win and who's your favorite both competitors have put up a good shot at uh, beating each other Mark Bailey has probably a good opportunity as well mainly because of how sneaky he is when it comes to uh, some of his matches because he'll pull he'll pull the most sneakiest moves like removing the turnbuckle or even attacking someone from behind when they're not paying attention then there's the flying X who he's really good he, he knows how to get away from some of that stuff whenever it does happen so maybe he'll pull off the win and beat Bailey but I don't know we'll just have to see ladies and gentlemen and let me know down below what did you think of Bailey and Coronado's exchanging of words uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe we there might be a championship match on Monday Night Mania soon, very soon. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin our Iron Man match. Give me just a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just gotten word. Christopher Bailey will challenge Hans Coronado on Monday Night Mania this upcoming week in a steel cage match for the Galaxy Championship. So that should be very exciting, ladies and gentlemen, especially seeing with the amount of, of this rivalry starting to build. But without further ado, let's get on to our match. Here we have Mark Bailey making his way to the ring, ring the self-proclaimed genius himself. Now he's really full of himself. He thinks he has this win right underneath his belt. He even told me backstage that X doesn't stand a flying chance against him. As he said with that weird pun, and I did not like that pun whatsoever that he said. <laughs> but without further ado, here comes his opponent. The Flying X. The Flying X is ready to go, he's ready to show what he's made of here tonight, and ready to put an end to Mark Bailey. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Mark Bailey versus Flying X. In three, two, one. The timer starting is a 15 minute match. We will see how this match will go. A beautiful maneuver by Bailey onto X. And Bailey taking control of this match. Beautiful frog splash from the top rope. And a nice neck breaker. Bailey getting a little too cocky right now with the way he's winning this match. Trying to build his momentum up and knocking X out of the ring. And the ref going ahead and starting his count. Who would win if both of them are on the outside of the ring? Because they could just stay out there and they shouldn't get a point either way since they're both out there. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but oh well. There we go. X now in control of the match. Throwing Bailey back into the ring, and here comes X. And what does he have planned? Beautiful splash. Now going for the back of Bailey with that stomp. Now stomping on the arm of Bailey. Oh, 
Oh, knocking X out of the ring once again. And Bailey calling X to stand up. Beautiful maneuver into a Hurricane Rana. Now throwing X back into the ring. Here comes Bailey. Bailey now in full control of this match. Here he goes to the rope. Beautiful, beautiful uh, dive. Kick to the back. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Getting cocky once again, building up his momentum. And X slowly getting up. Bailey recognizing this and trying to take care of X now. Throwing him into the turnbuckle. What does Bailey have in mind? Ooh, beautiful slice bread cutter. Here's the pin. One. Two. Ah, good enough. Only a two count. Bailey's still shocked that he was able to get out of it. Beautiful German suplex by Bailey. Here we go, Bailey looking to fly right here, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful Falcon Arrow. One, two, three. Bailey with the first one underneath his belt. And X is back up and ready to go now. Beautiful inverse butterfly suplex. And the X building up his momentum now. What's he got planned? A beautiful. Another beautiful move. My goodness, he's got his comeback ready to go. Flying X pulling out all the tricks on that one. Here we go. Was X now looking to fly? Oh, but Bailey smart enough to drag himself out of the way. X isn't happy about that. Oh, Bailey with a nice counter. Oh, and breaking X open. But you can't see it because he's got the mask on. But <laughs> Bailey relaxing a bit, trying to get a little bit of some momentum going on for him. Here we go, X with the nice reversal now. Frankensteiner. Here we go, Bailey. Here we go, X, now on the top rope. What is he gonna do? Beautiful diving sentin. One, two, three. It is now tied, ladies and gentlemen, one to one right here. And Bailey's back in control once again. And now needing the back of X. Trying to see if he can get him to tap out. Just hurting the back of X. And X might be getting out of it now. Yep, yeah, here we go. X got out of it. X gonna give it to you. And if you know that reference, please leave a comment down below what reference I made. Here, here's a pin. One, two, not good enough. X able to kick out. Here we go. Oh, stomping on the face of X. Here we go. Bailey, Bailey's looking to fly. Try, telling X to get up. Beautiful Hurricane Rana from the top rope.
Here we go. Beautiful. Now dragging Flying X to the middle of the ring. Kneeing the head of X. Here we go. Bailey's looking to fly once again from the top rope. Here we go. Another Phoenix Arrow. One, two, three. That's two wins for Bailey. One for X. And the X is back up and ready to go. Here's the pin already. One, two, not good enough. What's X got playing? Looks like he's going to go top rope now as well. Do the same thing all over. Diving sitting. There we go. Here's the pin. One. Two. Oh, only a two count, ladies and gentlemen. Bailey was able to get out of it. X is going for it once again. One. Two. Able to get out of it once again. X is still shocked he's able to get out. Now picking up Bailey, seeing what he could possibly do to him now. Here we go, what's he got planned? Gonna throw Bailey right onto the turnbuckle right there, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful drop kick to the chest. One, two, not good enough. So as it still stands, oh, Bailey with a nice reversal. Bailey has two, X has one. Beautiful maneuver by Bailey. Next, using the ropes to get back up. And Bailey stopping that real quick and doing the same thing once again. Now stomping on X. And going for few punches to the head of X I'm not sure X can see I can see blood going right where his eyes are at Ooh, a beautiful kick to the head here's the pin one two three not only a two count ladies and gentlemen Bailey's upset about that trying to get more of a lead What's Bailey got in mind? Oh, he's going to step on the arm. There we go. Another step. All right, ref, call that. That shouldn't be counting. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Flipping X down to the ground and kneeing the back. Going for another submission onto him. Seeing what kind of damage he can do. But X powering out of it right off the bat. Here we go, X getting thrown into the corner now. Here we go, all the way on the top. Oh my goodness. Hurting Bailey in the process, but X looks like he's knocked out. Here's the pin. One, two, only a two count. He was able to get out of it. Bailey trying to figure out what to do. He's going to lay back, get a little bit of momentum built up. Catch his breath. There's a nice kick to X who was trying to stand up. And X not happy. Finally taking a little bit of control. But Bailey able to get out of it now. Beautiful maneuver by Bailey. And dragging X. What has he got planned? Kicking the back of X. Standing him back up. 
And here we go. Once again, beautiful maneuvering. Here's the pin. One, two, three. Bailey with three wins. X with one. X has to be able to get at least two, three more pins to be able to win this right now. And there's only two minutes and eight seconds left. Bailey telling him to stay down and not get back up. But now he's calling for his finisher, thinking this is the perfect time. Misses the kick. Oh my goodness. There he goes. He got it the second time around. That took a lot of energy out of him, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Here's the pin. One, two, three. Bailey now has four wins under his belt. X has to pull off a miracle right now to win this. Here we go. X now in control, throwing Bailey into the corner. Beautiful neck breaker. Here's the pin. One, two, only a two count ladies and gentlemen and there's only one minute left looks like this Cinderella story is going to be coming to an end for X he's going to at least try to finish it off with one finisher right here beautiful maneuver here's the pin one two three Bailey four X two and Bailey with a nice counter now Trying to make, ooh, beautiful jumping DDT. Make sure X doesn't get another pin on him with the 25 seconds that are left. Another beautiful maneuver. And seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, here's your winner, Mark Bailey. Able to win four out of two, four to two. That was a very good match, ladies and gentlemen. Both contenders put up a great show in this match. A very great show. And X was trying to make a bit of a comeback with that last two minutes, but didn't work out. He was able to at least get one pin in. But wasn't able to get any more after that. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner, Mark Bailey. back ladies and gentlemen and that will do it for part one I will see you in part two where we will have our other four matches peace out